Cody Jackson was in the 7,400 blocks of Dix in Detroit on May 19th, 2024 at approximately 12.10 a.m. sitting in his vehicle. When someone walked up to his car, Cody exited the car and the unknown male stabbed Cody in the neck and fled the location in a black pickup. Cody was 31 years old. Today, his cousin and family members are here to tell his story and to let the murderer know who they took away from him. I'm going to tell you today about Cody Jackson. His life was brutally taken from him on the early morning of May 19th. Cody was an amazing father to three beautiful children, Cody, Toby, and Allison Jackson. He was always smiling, playing his loud music, driving around, being crazy, silly, just him. Cody's personality was very unique. He was a very sweet person and he had a very hard life, but he managed to always smile through everything. The individual or individuals responsible for Cody's horrific death are still on the streets among all of us. And I, and I plead with the people, if you know the individuals responsible or have any important information, please call the Crime Stoppers number. You can remain anonymous. My cousin's last words were, I can't breathe, and I can't imagine how scared he must have been knowing you're going to die and how much pain my poor brother felt. And his monster must be held responsible because if the person was so brazen to commit a murder on the block where a green light camera is, and was just it just must show how this individual is an absolute danger and I hope that you guys could please help us catch the individual or individuals responsible for his death. Thank you. Uh, we lost a really good person. I mean, he just very good hearted, uh, always had a smile on his face as she said. Um, simply taken too soon, very young, and uh, a very tragic way that he was taken. And now his mother now no longer has him, but his older brother also. So, to the person that did this, uh, I believe you will be caught and you will be brought to justice. Cody needs that. Cody needs this justice. And uh, I hope and pray to God that this is brings final closure to everything for this family, and especially his kids. Thank you. This is really hard because... He got in my arms. And there's people out there that know that seem, that know somebody that knows, and they need to come forward because it's not fair to his kids, his family, to any of us. He did not deserve this. He would not have hurt nobody. He was my best friend. <laughs> 